y'all and welcome to today's video. I am oh so excited because we are going to be talking all about Halloween themed, Halloween inspired palettes. Palettes that remind me of Halloween in some form. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I've been shopping my stash. I've been looking through my collection, pulling palettes, and I encourage you to do the same. Maybe you don't love Halloween. That's completely fine, but I do. I think it's so fun. I love costumes. I love trick-or-treating. I love any reason <laughs> to have a good time. So I have shopped my stash and all I'm going to do today is talk about these palettes, show you all the Halloween palettes I have. Some of them are current. Some of them are are old some of them are discontinued I will put everything in the description box that I can for y'all but I'm just excited this is gonna be a fun chill palette video and if you are new here I want to say hey my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here on my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means shimmer glitter palettes we're here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because i upload lots of new videos every single week so if you're looking for new fun makeup content this right here is the place to be very excited though so let's jump into it <music> First off, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, CQ, Maryland's largest credit union. They are doing a kindness campaign for the month of October. They have a goal of completing 250 thousand acts of kindness. I was actually very, very excited while I was uh, approached by CQ because I am all about spreading kindness. So when I heard about this kindness campaign and how any act of kindness is what they are promoting for the month of October, I was like, I'm in. I'm down, sign me up, I want to talk about this. So first I wanna share with you a couple of ways that my family is spreading kindness. Uh, my husband actually is taking breakfast to some of the maintenance staff at St. Jude. St. Jude is a children's research hospital. They do amazing, amazing work. We love to support St. Jude with our giving financially. And I was talking to my husband about this campaign and he's like, you know what, what if I took biscuits and breakfast things and just took them to St. Jude for the maintenance staff and just thanked them for all the work that they do and keeping the facility, the hospital running, making sure that everything is working well so that when the patients and the families come in for treatment, you know, the, the facility is nice and ready. So that's one of the things that we are doing. And then I'm taking my son and we took donuts to a local school for the teachers. So we went to the donut shop, brought in some donuts just to tell the teachers how much we appreciate them, the work they do, how they're investing in the lives of kids and teens. And, you know, we just, we, we want to show them that we appreciate them. So those are some of the acts of kindness that my family personally is participating in. I also just wanted to go through quickly a couple of like recommendations because, you know, you don't have to always buy something for somebody to be kind to them. You know, if you have a neighbor who maybe has mobility issues, maybe they're a little older, maybe you can volunteer to rake up their leaves for them, do something nice for them around the house, see if they need help with things. I, if you don't know, <laughs> I work in healthcare. I am a respiratory therapist. I work with neonates and pediatric patients. And an easy free way, I know it's not possible for everybody, but a free way that you can be kind and help people is to donate blood, donate life, find a center near you. You can definitely donate. It is 
always, always needed and appreciated. And again, it is completely free. So I would love to know if you are doing any acts of kindness and I will put the link and everything down below and you can register it. Let CQ know that you performed these acts of kindness. You don't have to post on your social media, anything like that. I know sometimes like talking about the good deeds we do, sharing the good deeds we do can sometimes be perceived as self-serving. But in this instance, I think it's really nice that we can encourage others to do something kind. I know sometimes I will see somebody do something really, really nice and it just inspires me to go forth with my day and be nice and do something kind for somebody else. So that is my goal with, uh, yeah, this campaign is just to encourage you to be kind today, perform some acts of kindness. Now we will get into the holiday releases, but I just want y'all to know I appreciate you being here. I want to talk about these holiday palettes, so let's jump into it. Okay, one of the newest Halloween palettes on the market actually is this Spooked palette. This uh, palette, and I'm pretty sure almost all the palettes, I have some videos on my channel. <laughs> I've been making YouTube videos for a long time, but this Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny collaboration is such a cool Halloween palette. How can I talk about Halloween palettes and not mention this beauty? This is such a fun color story. It definitely has black and orange. What I would say, like, if you say name two Halloween colors, black and orange are probably the colors you're going to think about most. We also have a white, uh, lime green, darker purples, which I think also are fun for Halloween. We have a bat on the red shade, which makes me think about vampires. Beautiful embossings on the pan. I really like, too, that this palette had colors in here where you could create a neutral look. You have a neutral brown. You have a dark burgundy shade that you could deepen up the outer corner. You could put a bronze shade on the lid and you've got a beautiful neutral look. Of course, I think this palette is more for people who do want to play with color, but overall it's such a fun Halloween palette and I wanted to show you. Okay, this Witching Hour palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This palette released a while ago. I feel like it fits in perfect with the Halloween theme. We've got Witching Hour, we've got the Fun Moon. Uh, this does say Alien Cosmetics, but of course now their name is Unearthly Cosmetics. I've been a fan of the brand for so, so long, and I'm actually wearing these two orange shades on my eyes today. This eye look, well, the makeup on my face, I will put it in the description box down below if you're curious. But if you want to see the tutorial, this was the October member exclusive tutorial that I did for my channel members. So I will put a link to it down below. I love this. This is such a fun, whimsical color story. I really love this one. I love that we have mostly matte shades. I feel like that gives you a lot of variety and you can create some fun Halloween looks with this one. I love that we have pumpkin colors, right? We have the orange and we have the green for the stem. We have a little brown you can give. Like just a really, really fun palette. This to me is like whimsical Halloween. Now, like I said, some of these palettes are no longer available. Some of the palettes are. Some of the brands I have codes for. Some of them I don't. I will put everything in the description box. But again, the main purpose of this video is just to encourage you to have some fun, shop your stash, see what kind of Halloween palettes you have, maybe get inspired to create some new looks, not telling you like you need these palettes. Just, just fun, you know? Okay, here's another newer one. This is the Trick Roar Treat palette from Sugar Drizzle. This one, I have two looks here on my channel. It's so fun. It's the new palette from Sugar Drizzle. We've got the little dinosaur riding across the moon. It's just so incredibly cute. And then opening up inside, we have such a beautiful mirror in here. And we have these fun, maybe like Halloween-y night shades. We've got multi-chromes, just a fun release. I love seeing brands getting into creating some holiday Halloween inspired palettes. It's so fun to me. Okay, how can I talk about Halloween palettes without talking about Batty Beans collabs with Shroud? So It's Freaking Bats was the first collab. Of course, we've got the cute bats and all on here. And I think this palette was released two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. 
I may be wrong on that. Please forgive me if so, but this is fun. This is more of like a grungy color story, but I still get Halloween vibes from it and it's fun. I love that we have these deep mattes, these mid-tone mattes, light shimmers, darker shimmers, very, very fun. And then we also have her most recent collab, the Hollow Bean palette. So this one, again, beautiful, a little more traditional Halloween colors with the bright oranges. We have a deep dark green, a lime green that's really, really beautiful, kind of this grungy yellow. We have multi-chromes in this palette. It's so fun. I love Batty Bean. Leave it to her to create some really, really cute Halloween palettes. Okay, Melt and their Beetlejuice palettes. I wish these were permanent palettes to the Melt line because I love them so much. This is one of my favorite collections Melt has ever, ever done. So they collabed with Beetlejuice. I have the recently deceased palette. This color story is like Ugh, sick in the best way. I love the greens. I love the purples. I love Beetlejuice the movie. It's so fun. My whole family, we love watching that movie. So I had to bring out that palette. And then I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes as well. This is The Waiting Room. We have this beautiful red, gray, black, silver color story. Absolutely love it. These palettes kind of got some negative attention because some of the shades are so similar. For me, I love that. I think it makes for the perfect blend. I love going in deep, using the other shades to deepen out with. Anyways, just the cutest, cutest, cutest Halloween palettes. The packaging is so high quality. I just, everything about those palettes I absolutely love and I love pulling them out this time of year. Okay, next I pulled out my NYX Professional Makeup and Netflix, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Oh, first of all, loved the show, loved the show. This is the best palette I have ever tried from NYX. It is amazing. I love this palette. I love the formulas inside. We have three blushes. We have a beautiful color story. I mean, it's a large palette. You get a lot, but I bought it because I'm such a fan of the show. And you know, you may say that's not Halloween themed, but listen, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I think that fits into a Halloween theme, at least for me, in my opinion. And I thought it's so fun. If you have that palette, please let me know because I feel like I, I, I don't hear people like, and even at the time, cause I know it's, it's a few years old. So I know why I don't hear people talk about it now, but even then I feel like I didn't hear a ton of people talking about it, but I know the collection kept selling out and I'm not surprised. Like I tried to get a backup palette and it sold out too fast. Of course, I'm including the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palettes. I have all three. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. If you don't like it, you don't have to gripe at me in the comments. <laughs> I love the movie. So let's talk about the three palettes. Pull them out if you have these and you want to get some Halloween vibes. We have Gather Round Sisters. This is a more neutral leaning kind of darker grungy color story. I love, 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 love this palette. I think the formulas in here are a great qu color pop quality. I love the greens, the berries, the reds. I love the other neutral shades. Overall, love this palette, love the packaging, love everything about it. The second palette wasn't my favorite. The first one definitely was, but we have the Witching Hour palette. Definitely cute, a lot smaller. We have these really cute, colorful shades with corresponding shimmer shades. I like this one. I like this palette, don't get me wrong, I like it. But do I love it as much as the other two? No, but that's just personal preference. It is really good though, and I really, really enjoy it. I love the artwork, I think it's so cute. But my favorite of the three is actually this year's version. This is ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 All Hallows Eve. I absolutely love the second movie. And this color story inside is so me. We have the neutral shades. You can create a neutral look if you want to. 
orange, green, purple, black, and gray. I love that. I love that there are so many options with this palette. I love that they included these, like this column right here specifically, the silver, the matte gray, the matte black. I think that is so pretty. It creates some really fun look. You could definitely do a look similar to what I have on today with this palette. Again, I love the packaging. I love the theming. I think it's just so incredibly fun. Okay, Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe. I'm pretty sure this palette is still available. We have this fun hologram, and this is maybe my most favorite Nomad palette. I love this. Nomad creates a lot of really cool palettes, and they released some really fun ones this year, but I, I kind of think this one's my personal favorite. I'm very curious if they're going to do anything for Halloween this year. I'm kind of thinking not, but I love this. The embossings in the pan, I still have some. Very fun. Like we have tombstones, we have spider webs, bats, castles. Very fun. I love the theming of this. I love like the background looks like dark castle stone. Again, we have that hologram on the front. Just a spectacular palette. The color story, like I said, definitely fall vibes. All right, I've got two palettes here from Lunar Beauty. Moonspell, the original, a favorite. A favorite, probably my favorite Lunar Beauty palette of all time. It looks like a spell book. The graphics, so cool. You open it up inside and you have these beautiful, beautiful shades. Amazing formula. I love this palette with my whole entire heart. It comes in this cool little sleeve, and I'm really hoping we get a Moonspell Volume 3 collection. This one, though, so amazing. Now, Loons Moonspell Volume 2, I'm pretty sure, is still available. I'm pretty sure you can still buy this one. I really love this palette, too. I think this is beautiful. I'm pretty sure I ranked this really high up in my ranking palettes video last year. We have that fun color story. I love that they took it to a more pinks and peaches and purples for the color story. I think that's a really fun take on Halloween. I think purple is a fun color for Halloween. And this is just an overall amazing palette. Again, not it's not like Halloween and that it says Halloween, but the moon spell, the fact that it looks like a spell book, I am obsessed. I love it. Oh, Manny, if you ever watch this, if you hear me, please, I'm begging you, Moonspell Volume 3. I, I, I'm here for it. Another unearthly palette. I should have talked about this earlier, but I didn't really put these in order. I literally was just pulling them from my collection and stacking them up. This is Hauntingly Glamorous. This is the palette that was done in collaboration with Unearthly and Sydney Nicole. First of all, she looks amazing, like a little like Frankenstein-esque on the front with the ghost. And then inside, we continue the spooky vibes, ghost and tombstones embossed on the pans, this fun color story. I love that we have a Halloween themed palette. Again, it's not just orange and black. You know, of course I'm a fan of that color story. I mean, look at me. But I love that we have these deeper tones. I think it's really, really fun. I love the pop of red. We have mostly matte shades in this palette, but Sydney Nicole did a great job on this one. Okay, one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection is from Bella Beauty Bar, and this is the Strange and Unusual palette. Beetlejuice inspired, and then opening it up, I love this. I love this color story. I love it. We have oranges, greens, blacks, whites, blues, purples, reds, but still a very curated, a very special color story in my opinion. I love the neon uh, green right here. I love the multi-chromes. I love how shimmery these are. I have a video, three looks. I wish I could create a thousand. Like, it's so beautiful. This black down here with this, like, purple green sparkle. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I'm telling you, if you don't have this palette, I'm never going to tell you, you need this. But I will say, if you were looking at this palette, you were thinking about buying it, and you're like, but I'm not sure if I'll love it. Me, I love it. This palette is so freaking amazing. No pressed glitters. I love that. I do see sometimes, a lot of time, I feel like with Halloween palettes, we see a lot of pressed glitters. And I love that this palette is just mattes, shimmers, 
metallics, duochromes, multi-chromes, everything I could want. Like, this is so beautiful. This is not a ranking video, by the way. This is just a, I shopped my stash, I pulled out my Halloween palettes. Okay, Jolie Beauty, a favorite, a favorite, a favorite. I'm so excited for their new zombified palette, but I have to talk about vampirism and sorceress. Now, both of these palettes do have pressed glitters. I'm never gonna tell you to use a pressed glitter, but I will say I do use pressed glitters from time to time, and the ones from Jolie Beauty are the best that I've used. So I'll leave it at that, but there's not many pressed glitters. The Sorceress palette is really what made me fall in love with the Jolie Beauty. It was the first palette I ever ordered from the brand because I needed this spooky vibes color story. I love the greens and purples and cool tones and I fell in love with the brand. I've loved them ever since. This palette has two multi-chromes, mattes, metallics, shimmers. Like I said, we do have four pressed glitters, but this is beautiful. I have ordered from Jolie Beauty multiple times. They are a brand based in the UK, I believe. And I've always had a great shopping experience. Absolutely love, love, love. This palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection as well. And then we have Vampirism. This was last year's palette, I believe. I have several looks on my channel with this palette. I also have a member exclusive video with this palette. I just love this one. It fits the vampire color story. We have these cool tones, warm orangey tones, yellows, reds with a little bit of purple. Again, we do have two pressed glitters in this one, two multi-chromes in this one, and then beautiful matte shimmer metallic finishes. The theming is so fun. Jolie Beauty makes these large palettes that somehow, even though you have so many shades, it's still very curated and fun. I love, I'm excited to see what the brand keeps doing. I'm excited to hopefully eventually get the Zombified palette. I'm just excited. Okay, MAC Stranger Things. This is uh, the Void eyeshadow palette. So this palette they made for the upside down. I think it's fun. Even though Stranger Things is not like a Halloween show, it definitely kind of fits the vibe. You know what I mean? I'll see if I can find a link to this one. I know it was on like really deep discount. I think it was on sale for like 13 bucks or something. Uh, so I'll see if I can still find it available. But uh, color story inspired by the upside down. I think it's perfect for this time of year. Pull this palette out if you bought it. It's so, so fun. MAC doesn't make my absolute favorite formula when it comes to eyeshadows, but I do think the shades inside this palette were really, really nice. Pretty shimmers. This is like a duochrome up here, the Mother Gate. Everything in here worked really beautifully. I enjoy this a lot, and it definitely gives me like the vibes of this time of year. Rebel Rouge Labs Helen for You. This palette, I have a hair stuck to my lip gloss. Okay, this palette is so fun. You see we have like this wolf or werewolf howling over the cemetery. Then we have a beautiful palette. We have a pretty pressed glitter right here in the center that's kind of like all different rainbow shades. We have orange, we have green, we have purple. This is a really, really pretty palette. This was the first palette I ever purchased from the brand and I really enjoy it. It's still my current favorite from the brand. And yeah, it's just, it's such a pretty color story. I really enjoy it. I think they did a great job creating like a Halloween themed palette. Um, I love the really pretty background to the shades, but overall it's a fun one. This palette released several years ago. So if you have it, dig it out of your collection. Okay, I saved the newest palette for last. I have not even swatched this palette, created looks with it. I have not done anything. Now, I'm not sure if the video of me using this palette will go up before this one. I think maybe so, but <laughs> I'm excited. This is the Clarity Cosmetics Apocalypse palette. We have this really cool graveyard zombie scene on the cover and the color story inside I think is so, so pretty. So I talked about this palette in a Judging New Makeup. It's a series I do on my channel every Sunday where we talk about new makeup releases. And I said I was interested in this palette because the color story looked really unique. There are several multi-chromes in here. So y'all seemed interested in it. 
I've never tried eyeshadow palettes from Clarity, so I decided to buy it. I want to test it out and play with it, but it's definitely Halloween themed. I see zombie vibes when I look at this palette, like especially with these grays over here. I, I see like a glam zombie vibe, so I'm really, really excited to play with this palette, test it out, get my thoughts and opinions together on it. Again, you may have already seen that video. I'm not sure what order these videos are going to go up on, but if the video on this one's not up, I am going to be working on it. It'll be coming soon, so make sure you subscribe. Let me know. I, I'm pretty sure that's all of my Halloween palettes. I may have missed some, and I'm going to be so bummed if I did. Um, and let me know. Maybe I have some palettes that you would consider to be Halloween palettes that I really didn't um, consider. Or let me know if you have palettes that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't have this or that. Let me know. I'm very excited for the Halloween palettes that are still to come. I'm sure there's going to be a lot. I'm very excited. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to check out CQ. Maryland's largest credit unions kindness campaign that they're running for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.